pabalitang makagamang o yung gawa ng Pilipino para sa mga Pilipino, ibibigay na yung senyo ngayon na. Ito ang Diwas na Report. Magandang araw Pilipinas, ako po si Orn Miranda, ang inyong kapatid sa Ipabuhin. At kasama po natin ang nag-iisang kalihim ng Department of Science and Technology, Secretary Fortunato Boy de la Peña. Magandang araw, Sir Boy. Magandang araw, Onin. Magandang araw sa ating mga taga-subaybay. At uh, siyempre, Merry Christmas na rin. Happy holiday, Sir. Sir Boy, isang linggo na naman ang nakalipas. Ano po ba ang pinakabagong balita tungkol sa agama teknolohiya ngayong linggo? Gaya ng dati, Onin, uh, mag-umpisa tayo doon sa ating mga kalusugan at kabuhayan na items at uh, pakaraan ay doon na tayo pupunta sa kinabukasan at uh, kaayusan no so uh, sa kalusugan ito lang may report ko na ang uh, ang uh, pinatawag na vaccine cluster okay na pinamumunuan ni uh, Secretary Galvez ay uh, nagmeet uh, as a, as a whole group last uh, uh, December 11 at uh, dito ay uh, nagpresent yung anim na task groups ng kanilang uh, work plan ano para nga mapabilis itong pagkakaroon natin ng uh, bakuna at uh, sa kaalaman ng ating mga taga-subaybay yung anim na task group na yon eh yung task group na in charge sa uh, vaccine uh, uh, evaluation and selection at ito ay pinamumunuan ng DOST pero may interagency rin yan at uh, very prominent ang role ng DOH sa selection na uh, meron tayong uh, grupo na in charge of uh, international negotiations at yan ay uh, ang uh, DFA ang uh, nangunguna diyan at uh, uh, syempre kasama din ng DOH you no know? meron tayong task group na in charge of procurement uh, nagkaroon ng konting pagbabago doon sa earlier uh, uh, sub TWG na kung saan na uh, DBM ang uh, in charge ang uh, chair ng procurement dito ang nagheheads na ng ating procurement group ay ang Department of Finance. You know? At uh, syempre, meron din tayong uh, task group on uh, logistics and storage at yan ay pinamumunuan ng uh, DOH, Department of Health. Gayun din, yung mismong vaccine implementation program, yung mismong pagbabakuna na massive vaccination, DOH syempre yan. You know? At meron din naman tayong uh, task group na in charge sa information dissemination, communication, pamumunuan ng PCOO, at syempre, kasama din ang DOH. No? So, yan yung tungkol sa ating kalusugan. Pumunta naman tayo sa kabuhayan. Uh, Nag-launch ang uh, Department of Science and Technology ng uh, isang uh, showcase for uh, micro, small, and medium enterprise uh, uh, products. Hindi na talaga bago ito, pero nagkaroon ng launching dahil may bago tayong uh, partner or uh, uh, collaborator. So we uh, launched last week the One Store City app for Android users for their One Store.ph mob, mobile and online store uh, para matulungan ang ating mga entrepreneurs to overcome the economic disruption because of the pandemic. Ito ay supported ng uh, Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Gayun din ang uh, Travelers International Hotel Group or the Resorts World uh, Manila Gaming and Hotel Unit. And uh, ito ay actually under the umbrella of uh, Pinas Muna Tayo Movement, which aims to promote local products and uh, tourist destinations to help revive the uh, economy. So yung ating uh, in-launch na one uh, store city app ay upgraded version nung uh, earlier uh, version ng one store app for and Android smartphones developed by DOST. Okay, so sa asalukuyan meron ng 12,100 products uh, featured in one store that PH uh, e-commerce platform and uh, coming very soon are the inclusion of uh, health and beauty products, okay, and anti-COVID-19 uh, products. Yeah. Sa kabuhayan pa rin ang DOST sa pamamagitan ng DOST Region 9, okay? Uh, ito yung uh, ating uh, uh, nakabase sa Balay Balay City sa Bukid noon uh, uh, nag uh, nag uh, turnover sila uh, ng dairy product packaging machines to support the dairy processing industry in the geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas or GIDA in Malay Balay uh, Bukid noon ang uh, residente ng Malay Balay City and neighboring municipalities will now enjoy 
depressed and hygienically packed cow's milk and milk products a source of protein for healthier bodies. Alam naman natin na dyan sa Region 10, ay dyan yung marami nag-aalaga ng uh, baka, di ba? And uh, so, itong locally produced goods na ito ay produkto ng uh, Dalwangan Malaybala United Dairy Agrarian Reform Cooperative uh, sa Dalwangan Malaybala uh, City. So, ang DOST ay nag-allocate ng uh, 900 90,000 or almost a million worth of uh, basic dairy processing equipment like uh, pasteurizers, holding tanks, hot water set, uh, so that this can be used uh, to improve the productivity of our uh, uh, dairy producers. You know? Nung, uh, uh, well, kadugtong pa din ang ating kabuhayan na report ay uh, nag-picture ang uh, DOST Picard at ang DOST Forest Products Research and Development Institute ng labing anim na technology para doon sa kanilang isinagawang National Technology Pitch Day. Ito yung uh, isang uh, uh, event na uh, nagkamit yung mga technology developers or at saka yung mga inventors ng technologies at, yeah, at products at sila naman ay nakaharap nila yung mga pupwedeng mag-invest sa kanilang mga teknolo- teknolohiya. Nandiyan din yung uh, uh, mga uh, uh, kasama natin from the uh, Intellectual Property Office ano, na siyang uh, tutulong sa kanila para dito sa mga ganitong klaseng uh, uh, negotiations. Ano. So, uh, labing anim yun, hindi ko na iisa-isahin uh, yung kanilang mga teknolohiya na isinailalim dito. Merong example dito na Pinoy Organisecticide. Merong... Uh, uh, produkto na ang pangalan ay Prolipig, a test kit for swine uh, prolificacy. Meron namang isang uh, Biosyn F Dietary Symbiotic Feed Supplement as a new, new product in the agricultural sector. Fish, fish anesthetic. Meron ding uh, biopesticide from uh, indigenous plants. Uh, meron ding uh, spray dried powder from uh, uh, different uh, fruits like uh, papaya, kundol uh, for diabetic cases. Okay? At uh, marami pang iba. No? So labing anim yung ipinresent nila at nagkaroon na ng talakayan para dun sa mga interesadong mag-adapt at mag-invest. No? Uh, kasama pa din sa ating uh, kabuhayan ang report ng ating uh, Philippine Textile Research Institute on their natural textiles or blended fabrics that were featured recently by a local entrepreneur uh, who is uh, the, uh, well, actually, uh, ang kanyang kumpanya ay tinatawag na Mason Metis, no? parang French uh, undertaking. No? In the first week of December, Mason Metis, an artisanal line using natural textile and natural dyes, launched a pop-up store at the power plant mall in Rockwell and uh, featured here are the cotton pineapple blended fabrics that uh, are processed by the DOST Philippine Textile Research Institute under the ready to buy uh, project at uh, uh, the collection also used uh, cotton and sugarcane bagasse uh, from Kanya Kawayan Incorporated adapter of the Philippine Textile Research Institute developed technology on sugarcane bagasse blended yarn processing Pati pala yung bagas ngayon, pwede mo na rin pagkuhanan ng yarns. And uh, the design and artistry uh, of using pure cotton and hand-woven silk fabrics as sustainable fibers that are produced in the Philippines to echo the natural collection. So natutuwa naman tayo dito dahil uh, dumadami yung partnerships ng ating uh, government research institutes at ng ating mga uh, uh, private uh, industry sector. Diyan na lang muna, Onin, at mm-hmm. pagkaraan ay pupunta tayo sa kaayusan at hinabukasan. Opo. Maraming salamat po, Sek Boy. Unang bahagi pa lamang po yan. Maraming pa kayong dapat nabangan, kaya wag kayong bibigil. Magpapalik pa ang DOST Report.
kay pila ka tutok sa DOST report at para sa ikalawang bahagi ng mga bataagap at teknolohiya na natubong muli Secretary Boy Del Peña. Punta tayo sa kaayusan, Onin. At dito ay magandang halimbawa ito ng pagpapakalat ng teknolohiya o sistema na nagawa mula sa isang DOST region na ina-adapt in another DOST region. At uh, ang aking bibigay na halimbawa at ire-report ay isang uh, uh, developed information technology system na ginawa ng DOST Calabarzon. At ito ay may kinalaman sa Human Resource Management Information System and also for tracking, retrieval, archiving of communications for efficiency. At ang uh, nag-adapt nito ay ang ating uh, uh, Region 8 na POLCOM. No? Ang National Police Commission Regional Office Region 8 ay ini-adapt ang dalawang IT system that was developed by DOST Calabarzon. At ito ay, uh, uh, nga, ay pinormalize natin through a memorandum of agreement that was signed between the two Uh, 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 offices, the uh, DOST Calabarzon, headed by Dr. Alexander Madrigal at ang uh, regional director din ng ating uh, uh, National Police Commission Regional Office Number 8. Okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, kakaayusan pa rin at may kinalaman pa din sa mga information technology systems ang ating okay. namang DOST Region 9. Ito ay yung sa Sambuanga Peninsula ay nag-launch ng kanilang information technology system para sa efficient processing ng mga financial uh, request. Okay? So, uh, bilang bahagi ng Regional Science and Technology Celebration uh, sa Sambuanga Peninsula, in-launch ng DOST Region 9 ang kanilang Information Technology Systems for Finance and Administrative Information Management. At uh, ito ay isang uh, web-based system that has uh, six modules which include pre-procurement plan, number two, procurement plan, number three, Cashiering, number four, budgeting, number five, purchasing, and number six, finance. Ano? So ang mga uh, uh, request na may kinalaman dito ay mapoprocess na. Okay? Uh, and, and nag-automate na sila at uh, ginamitan na ng information technology. Yan naman ang gusto ng ating uh, Pangulo na tayo ay uh, uh, mag, uh, nga, eh, pumunta na sa advanced technology uh, for delivering uh, government uh, services. Kinabukasan, hmm. Ay, um, actually yung binanggit ko na yun ay kaayusan ano? at ngayon naman dito na tayo sa bandang huli yung kinabukasan nakakatuwa ito ang ating mga uh, uh, bagong graduate sa Philippine Science High School sa Central Visayas Campus ito yung uh, uh, nandun sa Cebu ano bang bayan sa Cebu yun ano? sa Cebu uh, oo, ay uh, uh, nakapagpapaten sila no? isang grupo ng mga stu- uh, bagong graduates uh, ang babanggitin ko ang mga pangalan nila uh, si uh, Max Steven Melicor, si Christian James Fantoniel, si Elram Espra, okay? As a group ay nag- nag-file ng application for patenting sa kanilang multi-purpose interconnected transceiver apparatus, okay? At kasama din nila ang kanilang uh, Uh, project advisor na si Mr. Benito Bahe who is a very very uh, productive uh, uh, research advisor no and ang kanilang uh, invention ay uh, naghahangad na makatulong ng better agric- para sa better agricultural productivity and modernization at uh, ang kakayahan ng kanilang invention uh, actually the best feature is the fact that uh, uh, it does not require internet connection to operate So their system, the multi-purpose interconnected transceiver apparatus, uh, gathers and shows information transmitted from different devices for tracking the weather conditions in a specific environment and finding the location of at least one user. So the weather monitoring technology can help farmers decide better on pesticide applications, irrigation, prevention of diseases that will lead to... Uh, Uh, lower cost okay and higher crop uh, yields at uh, nakakatuwa kasi approved na yung patent no Apo. para dito at uh, may kinalaman pa din sa Philippine Science High School sabihin na nating magandang uh, balita na rin ito kasi Apo. di ba talaga namang 
tinamaan ng matitinding disasters ang kabikulan, hindi ba? Sunod-sunod na bagyo. At uh, naapektuhan ng ating Philippine Science High School campus uh, dyan sa uh, Bicol. At uh, so, eka nga, rising from the destruction of Typhoon Quinta, the Philippine Science High School Bicol Region Campus has uh, uh, been uh, rehabilitated. Uh, stable na ang kanila electric power, uh, internet connectivity, kaya nag-resume na sila ng kanilang mga remote, planning, uh, remote learning classes noong pang December 1. And uh, 100% of their faculty and staff are now reporting uh, sa campus. You know? So, ika nga, uh, na, medyo nag-normalize na ang operations nila. Nakabangon na from uh, uh, the serious effects of uh, uh, the, the uh, successive uh, typhoons that uh, occurred. And uh, lastly, ito mahaba-haba ito. <laughs> ang, ang ating uh, DOST Philippine Council for Industry energy and emerging technologies research and development ay nagdiwa ng kanila ikasampung anibersaryo. At uh, during this event ay uh, ini-announce nila ang mga sumusunod na proyekto para sa 2021. Ito na yung for implementation for 2021. Uh, kumbaga na secure na ang funding dito. Okay? Uh, ang una ay ang artificial intelligence program okay? uh, na kung saan na uh, nag-iimbita ang ating uh, Philippine ang ating shared ng mga proposals na may kinalaman sa uh, smart uh, or intelligent robots, uh, decision intelligence uh, using prescript prescriptive analytics, yung mga recommender systems, image and video recognition, natural image processing, sensors and actuators, financial trading series forecasting, natural language processing optical character recognition, algorithm trading strategies, station interpretation through heterogeneous sensors and generative adversarial networks. Napakaganda nito. So mag-submit kayo kung mayroon kayong mga proposal uh, regarding the development of these uh, uh, items. Uh, pangalawa ay yung kanila Smart City, Smart City Challenge Philippines. Okay. Meron silang program na ang pangalan ay Smart City Challenge at uh, dito naman ay uh, nais nilang um, pagandahin ang collaboration uh, para sa pagkakaroon ng mga tinatawag na innovation-led economies in is smart cities dito sa Pilipinas. And then of course, isang priority nila ang uh, pagkakaroon ng mga enterprises na low carbon and energy efficient. No? Kaya uh, nag-iimbit sila ng mga proposals para sa transition program Okay? that aims to link energy researchers and energy service companies and other technology providers uh, with the mid, micro, small, and medium enterprises. Nandito din yung program na naibalita ako na dati ay simula na yung Smart Food Value Chain Program. At uh, sakop nito ang areas of food security, waste management and recovery, human resource development, innovative technologies, and supply chain management system. Meron din silang ilalaunch sa programa para sa mga mineral resources. Okay? At dito, ang itatakel ay yung mga uh, novel technologies in the sustainable extraction of uh, mineral deposits in the Philippines. Okay? Kasama na rin yung mga pag-rehabilitate uh, ng mga abandoned mines. Okay? Uh, uh, at nandiyan na rin ang uh, uh, transport and impacts of associated contaminants uh, through the environment. So, yun naman ang may kinalaman sa mineral resources. May programa din silang innovation to, in the, to the incubation of new and emerging space technology programs. Okay? So, alam natin, meron na tayong Philippine Space Agency, pero maraming programa, maraming uh, uh, applications na pwedeng magkaroon ng commercial use na related dito sa mga space technologies. At Para sa ating mga kababaihan, okay. isang programa, Women Helping Women, Innovating Social Enterprises Program. Okay? Maganda ito. Ito ay isang public-private partnership that aims to seek out and prepare women-led social enterprises for growth, scalability, and subsequent venture capital funding. Okay? Meron din silang ilo-launch na programa. Okay? 
Project Personnel Research Opportunity for Progressive Education and Learning or what they call the PROPEL program. Ito naman ay uh, isang scholarship program uh, para dun sa mga ika nga eh, nagtatrabaho sa mga science projects na hindi pa permanente. Okay? So, mga contractual sila pero pwede na rin sila maka-avail ng scholarships. Nandyan din yung Pinoy Psychom uh, Fellowship na magte-train sa ating mga science communicators at researchers on how to popularize research results. And finally, yung ating uh, uh, release ng isang compendium, uh, it's called the VOSTP Shared and VOI Compendium at ito ay isang koleksyon ng mga research outputs or technologies that were generated by our researchers that are ready for adoption uh, or licensing by interested inventors. Okay? Ang pangwakas dito ay actually na nabasa na natin sa nagdaang report. Binibigay lang dito uh, yung mga uh, nuclear technologies and then the researches that are designed to improve products and uh, services. Karamihan dito ay mga nuclear and radiation applications uh, that has uh, particular uses in uh, uh, improving the yield of our crops, in diagnosing and treating various diseases, and improving the competitiveness of our products. Kasama na dyan yung mga research nila na nakadiscubre ng mga fake no? na mga food uh, products. So, uh, yan ang uh, nuclear technologies uh, towards improving various products and services. Diyan nagwawakas ang aking DOST report for this week on in. Maraming salamat. Maraming po salamat, Sekboy. At para sa liguli kong balita mula si Mondo Langa at teknolohiya, abangan po ninyo Team Viernes ang DOST report. Hatid po sa atin ni DOST Secretary Fortuna. Sa aming pong pagawalik, ating pag-usapan ang gender responsive efforts ng Department of Science and Technology kasama ang ilan sa ating mga espesyal na bisita. Kaya huwag po kaalis, ito ang DOST Report. Abangan sa Expert Talk Online. O mga mommies and daddies, nakapagplano na ba kayo ng pang Noche Buena? Huwag kalimutang i-consider ang kalusugan ng pamilya. Alamin ang ilang healthy food advice for the holiday season mula mismo sa DOST FNRI. Abangan yan ngayong Merkules sa Expert Talk Online, alas 5 ng hapon sa DOST TV Facebook page at YouTube channel. Mga kaibigan, magpanggang sa mga panong ito ay may ilang pa rin tayong narinig na issue tungkol sa gender inequality pagdating sa workplace. At upang mabigyan ng solusyon ng issue nito, ay nagpatupad ng pamahalaan ng mga bakas kaya ng the Magna Carta of Women, Republic Act No. 9710, National Sandiga ng Gender and Development Program o GAN. Sa araw na ito, isasamahan tayo ni Ms. Lorena Yungke, isang uh, miyembro ng ating Philippine Commission on Women at uh, isa siya sa National GAD or Gender and Development Resource Pool of GAD Experts para ipaliwanag sa atin ang konsepto ng gender and development. Magandang araw, Lorena. Magandang araw po sa ating kagawaran ng agham at teknolohiya at sa mga kasama ko dito na kapwa ko Ilongga at of course, yeah. ikita ko po si Director Jess Samora ng Region 7 BUST. Uh, okay, ang GAD po ay isang pananaw sa pag-unlad o balangkas ng pag-unlad na nakabase po sa prinsipyo, universal principle that all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. No? So pantay po ang karapatan ng lahat ng tao regardless of sex. Yan yung sinasabi ng GAD. At dahil dyan po, ay tinitingnan nito na sa paglakad ng panahon ang mga kababaihan dahil na ibigay sa mga kababaihan ng responsibilidad lalo na sa caregiving o sa bahay. And uh, society for a long while also uh, accorded women a secondary status kasi nga mm -hmm. eh, Nasa bahay, alam mo ba yun? And Pedro din na-translate po yan sa mga pananaw na uh, ang babae ay sexual object. Uh, 
mababa ang dignidad compared sa mga kalalakihan. At even in our laws, in our policies, in our practices, in our offices or agencies, at sa mga ginagawa natin na pang-araw-araw, ay ito'y nakikita natin na nagiging discriminatory sa mga Ayun. kababaihan. Opo. Ms. Lorena, paano ba yung pinaka-epektibong paraan para makamit po yung gender equality at women's empowerment sa isang hensya o organisasyon? Opo. Ang pinakamagandang pamamaraan para ma-address natin ang gender inequality sa ating lipunan ay sa tinatawag natin na strategy of gender mainstreaming. In other words, na dapat sa isip, sa salita at sa gawa natin, especially sa mga ahensya ng gobyerno bilang mga duty bearers, ay nandun po ang consciousness ng equality, ng kababaihan at kalalakihan. At yung mga ginagamit po nating lengguahe ay hindi nakakabastos or discriminatory at hindi nagpapababa ng dignidad, especially o nakakawala ng respeto ng kababaihan. At sa mga ginagawa natin, ito ay hindi black. No, wala tayong mga practices na hindi natin na-acknowledge ang unique situation and responsibilities of women. Ganun yung okay. ating. So, ang tawag po natin dyan is gender mainstreaming strategy. Gender mainstreaming. Nasa dapat ang consciousness on God and gender responsiveness ay nasa araw-araw natin na ginagawa. Ayan. Okay. Okay. Isa po ang Department of Science and Technology sa mga ahensya ng pamahalaan na malaki po ang pagsuporta sa God-related activities. Tama ka, Onin. Sa katunayan, ang Department of Science and Technology ay kinalala ng Philippine Commission on Women bilang isa sa naging recipients ng God-Timpala. Ano? Pakinggan ninyo, hindi God-Timpala, God-Timpala citation. Uh, ito ang Gender and Development transformation and institutionalization through the mainstreaming of programs, agenda, linkages, and advocacies nitong 2019. Ano? So merong, merong award ang DOST from the Philippine Commission on Women. At upang ibahagi sa atin ang ilan sa mga activities ng Department of Science and Technology bilang pagsuporta sa Gender and Development Program Makakasama po natin ngayon ang aming uh, Director for uh, Administrative and Legal Services, si Dr. Elizabeth Pontanilla. At uh, magbibigay siya ng uh, kaalaman sa atin tungkol dito sa DOST-wide Gender and Development Program. Siya po ang aming focal person sa programa na yan. Ang araw sa ating lahat. Ano ba yung mga GAD programs at this point in time na ginagawa po ng DOST? Oh. Uh, salamat uh, for giving us this opportunity to showcase mm -hmm. the Gender and Development Program of the DOST. Let me start by saying that it is an honor and privilege to be the lead person in mainstreaming gender in our department, at least for the last five years. Okay. I can truly say, oh, medyo matagal na rin, limang taon, I can truly say that leading the DOST God team cannot be successful without the moral and financial support given by our top management led by our Secretary Fortunato T. de la Peña. The DOSC GAD program is a set of policies, systems, programs, and projects and activities adopted and implemented by the DOSC agencies and regional offices, which address the concerns of both women and men with the end goal of achieving gender equality and women empowerment in our organization. Ito yung in-explain kanina ni uh, Ms. Lorena. Okay. So, in implementing the GAD program in DOST, we have consistently applied gender mainstreaming in formulating our plans and programs and as well as our activities. Mm -hmm. So, one might ask, what is this thing called gender mainstreaming? Sinabi na rin kanina ni Ms. Lorena, gender mainstreaming is the, is the thing no, that we implement in DOST. So, mm -hmm. I can say that gender mainstreaming is a strategy provided under the Magna Carta of Women to ensure that there is gender perspective in the policies, systems, structure, programs, and projects of all government institutions. Mm -hmm. To implement this strategy, the DOST is using the Gender Mainstreaming Evaluation Framework, or GMEF, which was adopted by the Philippine Commission on Women. 
So yung GMEF is a gender analysis tool. It has four entry points to which interventions by organizations can be introduced. These four entry points are number one, policies, number two, people, number three, enabling mechanisms, and number four, yung programs, projects, and activities. So uh, we have been using the GMF as guide in our, all our actions. Mm. No? So uh, you asked the question, ano yung mga achievements ng USD GAD yes, program? Okay. Number one, uh, you mentioned already uh, earlier that USD was recognized. That's our number one uh, achievement, okay. that USD was recognized and awarded by the GAD Timpala Citation. Uh, but by the, with the awarded the Gantimpala Citation by the Philippine Commission on Women on August 2019 for being one of the top gender responsive agencies of government. Ito, very proud kami dito. Okay. And number two, we were able to establish the DUSD God Speakers Bureau based on the selection evalua and evaluation done by the PCW also. So we find it not noteworthy to, to uh, mention it here because those chosen as members of the Speakers Bureau are now resource persons in their own agency trainings, okay. such as uh, trainings on basic gender awareness and gender sensitivity, among many others. Number three, medyo mahaba-haba ito, Mr. Otuna. No problem, ma'am. Development and publication of the DUSD Tool God Kit, no? Uh, which is, as far as we know, huh, this is the first in government. So ito, very, uh, ito, very, um, very noteworthy din itong nagawa namin ito. It is the, the, the DUSD God Tool Kit is DUSD's guide in advocating and formulating policies and programs that ensure equal opportunities for women and men. Mm -hmm. It is a guide for becoming a truly, uh, fully gender responsive DOST and eventually for becoming a globally competitive organization. Okay, number four, the operation of the DOS Daycare Center, which is both a caring and a learning center. It caters to children of our employees from mm. ages three to four years old and allows our employees to focus more on their work and worry less about their children being left at home. Alam naman natin yung mga nanay, worry dear talaga. Mm -hmm. So number five, yung installation of the DOSD God Help Desk to provide our employees an avenue to consult and to seek advice on women-related concerns, such as those relating to sexual harassment. So yung mga iniisip-isip ng mga tao, they have a help desk to go to. So number six, uh, is the continuous capacity development and the conduct of gender-related trainings for our personnel, such as gender sensitivity, gender analysis, gender mm -hmm. planning and budgeting, among others. Number seven, uh, the conduct of gender awareness activities, such as the Women's Month celebration, new 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children, which we are celebrating now, and the God Assembly for members of the DUSD agencies, God for Focal Point System. Last but not the least is the confirmation of the DOS God Gender Mainstreaming Awards to our deserving DUSD agencies and regional offices for their high achievements in incorporating gender perspectives in their agency policies, programs, and activities. This is the DUSD's version of the PCW Gantipala Award. The DUSD Award hopes to encourage, inspire, and energize our agencies and regional offices to do more and strive more in mainstreaming gender in their own organizations. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm so pleased that the two first place winners of the DUSD GAD Awards are here with us today, with, uh, together with the lead validator from the National Gender Resource Pool of the Philippine Commission of Women. So, Mr. Oni, and those are just uh, those that I have mentioned are just some of the significant significant accomplishments of the DOSD GAD program. And salamat, uh, thank you again for this opportunity to highlight some of the notable accomplishments of the DOSD GAD program. So, Ayan. maraming salamat po. Ayan, maraming salamat din po, Dr. Fontanilla. At sa punto po ito, makasama natin ang director ng mga ahensya na nagwawagi sa DOSD GAD by Streaming Awards. Sina Dr. Josep Tibio, Director ng Science Education Institute, SEI, First Place Winner, Agency Category, at si Engineer Jesus F. Zamora Jr., OIC, Office of the Regional Director, TOST Region 7, First Place Winner, Regional Office Category. Magandang araw po. Una sa lahat, congratulations, Dr. Tibio. 
at Engineer Jesus sa inyong natanggap na awards. Maaaring nyo bang uh, imahagi ano-ano mga GAD programs or activities ang meron sa inyong mga ahensya? Ano po yung naging challenges sa inyong, na inyong naranasan sa pagsasagawa ng uh, bagay na ito? Kayo po muna, Dr. Bio. Unang-una, nagpasalamat, nagpapasalamat ako sa recognition na natanggap namin. Of course, masaya ang SEI kasi it is an affirmation that our employees consciously um, develop that God perspective and implement mm-hmm. this in our programs and projects. No? So ano ba yung mga na-accomplish namin na mention na ni, ni Director Fontanilla kanina? I highlight ko lang yung pinaka-importante. No? So unang-una, yeah. uh, nag, nagkaroon kami ng gender mainstreaming sa lahat ng activities and programs na uh, we always do this, integrate this during uh, the plans during our uh, planning uh, activities na we do it uh, at the end of the year para to prepare the activities for the following year. So mm-hmm. dito sa planning workshop namin, na-identify namin yung mga gender issues at saka uh, nag-develop kami ng mga initiatives. Like for example, napansin namin na sa youth promotion activities, yung robotics competition namin, mga lalaki lang ang nagpa-participate kasi the, the girls feel that they are not competent. So to address this, meron kaming dinevelop na program na robotics for girls to ensure also their participation sa parang feeling natin mga male-dominated domains. No? So mm-hmm. conscious din kami in all our programs like teacher training na may balanced participation of men and women, even in our scholarship campaigns. no. So uh, we make sure na balance ang participation ng mga uh, girls and uh, the males. So isa yan sa pinakamalaki naming effort sa institute na parang in-embrace na ng lahat ng mga personnel. Of course, uh, we continuously capacitate our employees kasi yung pinaka-unang challenge namin was that uh, there was underappreciation of God. So akala ng mga employees noon na uh, ano lang yan, um, dapat lang i-comply, for compliance lang yan. And it is because wala pang, hindi pa na-inculcate sa kanila yung uh, God perspective. No? So yeah. mahapi kami ngayon na na-embrace na ng mga employees na ganun, conscious na sila in preparing their programs. And... Um, Dito sa institute mismo, uh, some employees thought na wala kaming gender issues. Meron din pala. Okay. And we are them. Like for example, nag-put up kami ng lactating room kasi may mga young personnel pa kami, may mga anak. So okay. you know, we address their concerns also. At saka currently, we are developing a knowledge management system. No? It is a work in progress na mag-track ng mga GAD information and data um, for policy improvement. So, yan ang ginagawa namin ngayon. Okay. Alright. At uh, para mas maunawaan natin, ma'am, agad ang uh, GAD-related uh, activities ng UST SEI, panoorin po natin ito. Uh, all right, Engineer Jess. Pagdating naman po sa Regional Office, uh, Region 7, DOST Region 7, ano mga activities ang sa palagay ninyo ay maaaring ma-adapt ng iba pang mga ahensya pagdating sa usapin ng gender and development dahil kayo ay naging awardee, top awardee sa inyong pag-implement ng GAD. Uh, first of all, we would like to thank the DOST to Secretary de la Pina for giving us, giving us this award no? mm-hmm. as the 2020 GAD Mainstreaming Awards in Regional Office category. And we are very grateful for that recognition. No? So this is really very, it's, I think it's, we are uh, blessed and honored no? to be considered as that. Uh, I think uh, we have the same uh, siguro as the start with all the agencies now, when you when we discuss about God, parang sa mga employee, be very annoying. Why, why, what is this? 
what is Apo. this project? What, why, why are we going to do this? No, something okay. like that. So you have to change paradigm mm-hmm. now. You have to change. So it's it's really very hard at the start because there was no uh, there was no syst- uh, a very good system for at the start to to work with. Now when we started implementing the GAD focal point system, then we have people, we have the management involved. All almost all. Uh, top and middle management are involved. Mm-hmm. This is the time when uh, we uh, we al- we already uh, started to move forward, no? And uh, we we look at it. Uh, the management really of the DOST seven was for uh, the implementation of the the GAD uh, responsive projects in the mm-hmm. DOST and even. Uh, we started with with uh, several trainings. No, we had to train okay. our staff to to change that change that uh, paternal culture. No, and uh, you know even in our trainings, when you look at the trainings at the DOST in the regional offices, okay. uh, when we analyze it, most of our participants are women, so I mean, there is no equal opportunity for men. So we design trainings for men also. So para mm-hmm. Parang magka, ano, no? may mga training for men. Kasi when you, when you go to the regional offices, most of those who will attend trainings that we are going to yes, sir. do are, are, are the mothers. No? Mm-hmm. So, so we design, now we analyze. Then we also have our God uh, Care Center where uh, as Dr. Bio said, meron na silang McDon, may mga may breastfeeding room, we mm-hmm. have kids play area. No? We have the facility here in our office. Uh, for that could uh, assist the the women, no, and then uh, we we try to be very uh, we look at our projects that lahat ng project namin may involve may mga there should be uh, mga God interventions then mm-hmm. so my trainings on God sensitivity maguna mo na tayo don sa uh, God sensitivity na it pati train namin ang mga beneficiaries even our partners we we started with our partners no yung mga partners natin even yung mga consultants namin we we let them undergo the grad training so yun ang mga yun ang mga challenges namin noon na walang mga policies at the start so we yes, provide the policies for the implementation hmm. and then uh, we try to put in the culture the grad the grad uh, sensitive culture, no? So, mm-hmm. talagang mahirap. But when we analyzed it, there is also the opportunity in God. Hindi lang to uh, as we say, nga, para bang trabaho. No, there's the opportunity. Apo. You can use your uh, the, the minimum is 5% of your uh, budget for God. You can go more, no? So, Apo. ayan, we we, we uh, slowly, we, we reach up to 12% of our budget for our God mga God projects, something like that. So this is, there is an opportunity. So we realize ah, there's an opportunity in implementing Apo. the God project. So that's why uh, our staff are uh, really very also enthusiastic in doing these things now, not mm-hmm. just uh, for the sake of a God. No, it should be part of uh, their uh, responsibility that they would really want to implement God projects. So yun ang nangyari sa amin. Thank you. Okay. Salamat po na marami, engineer. At talagang uh, ang God po ay uh, malaki po ng gagawa at natutunong sa DOST. Panawalin po natin ang mga naging gawain ng DOST Region 7 para sa Gender and Development Program. In order to harmonize and fully mainstream God in the programs, projects, and activities of DOST. The DOST Region 7 created and strengthened the God Focal Point System as its strategic mechanism to implement that. The trainings paved the way to the functionalization of the GFPS in the integration of that. The GFPS issued 25 related policies, hired support staff, and engage with the God Resource Pool of the PCW, which all of these facilitated several results, 
such as capacity building of both the employees and clients, the regular collection and analysis of sex disaggregated data, the use of gender fair language, the integration of God in the USD 7 vision and in the operations of the small enterprise technology upgrading program or setup and in the preparation of our annual report. The maintenance of that corner at the office premises, the active participation of the employees in national and international God related events, the provision of incentives and awards to most gender responsive units, the development of internal God expert, and establishment and maintenance of the God Care Center for breastfeeding moms, elderly, and children. Now, the DOST 7 continuously aspires to fully mainstream God for us to be responsive and sensitive to the needs of its employees and clients. Hindi po, maraming salamat sa ating mga naging panauhin ngayong araw, sa boy. Baka may huling mensahe po kayo sa ating mga tagapaybay. Ang uh, masasabi ko lang ay uh, matatapos ang taon at uh, siguro uh, sa isang pagkakataon, either uh, uh, siguro sa simula ng uh, bagong taon, ay magkakaroon kami ng uh, uh, parang full year uh, report ng uh, DOST at ihahanda namin yan. Uh, lalo na yung mga tungkol sa natapos ng mga research and development projects. Ano? Gusto namin ipaalam sa publiko kung ano yung mga natapos sa 2020. At uh, gayon din naman, gusto kong ipaalam sa ating mga taga-subaybay na sa December 25, next Friday, meron pa rin yes, tayong broadcast. Meron pa rin tayong broadcast ng DOST report at uh, lalaki pa namin ng konting pampasaya. Uh, uh, total Pasko naman ano? So iti-feature namin yung aming mga talento Sa Department of Science and uh, Technology Abangan po natin uh, Sa December 25 Total, karamihan naman tayo ay encouraged to stay home okay? So at least meron kayong uh, mapagibangan Sa aming pong pagbabalik Sasagutin ni Sekboy ang tanong ng bayan Kasama po ang ating mga panuhin Wag po kayo alis Magbabalik pa report Ako po si Jel Miranda ng DOS-TV. At ako naman si On Miranda ng dos Report. Ngayong taon, tayong mga Pilipino ay sinubok ng panahon. Samot sa aring mga sugar mean ang ating sinagupa. Lari ng kalamidad at ang patuloy na paglaganap ng pandemya. Hindi lamang po sa Pilipinas, kundi maging sa buong mundo. Tumalit sa kabila ng lahat ng ito, tayong mga Pilipino na naratiling maratag at nagkakaisa. Ang DOSTV po ay naging kaagapay at kakampi ng sambayan ng Pilipino. Mula sa aming programa na ipahatid ang iba't ibang proyekto ng Department of Science and Technology na malaki ang may tutulong sa bawat Pilipino. Ang dalangin po namin na magsabing-aral at inspirasyon ang mga naging karanasan natin sa lilipas na taon. Mula po sa lahat ng gumuguo ng DOSTV, Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong patuloy na pagsubaybay at pagpangkilig sa aming program. Umasa po kayo na sa darating na bagong taon, mas marami pang programa ang hatid lang sa inyo. Happy Holidays, mga kapitun at si Magada. Siguro magandang, pro magandang proyekto yan. Ano? At uh, wala pa akong alam na binibigyan namin ng, uh, ng uh, ika nga eh, ng uh, premyo ng mga gender responsive inventions and gender responsive inventors that that will be a good program maganda magandang su suggestion yan uh, in fact yung pagbigay namin ng DOST gender mainstreaming award is only confined to the DOST agencies and regional offices pero it should not stop there mm -hmm. we can expand it to include our inventors and also our inventions so in the future Uh, maganda, actually magandang idea na kapag bigayan ngayon sa akin ng, ng another field uh, na pwede nating i-award in the future. So, we can work on it, uh, we can plan for it, so that uh, not, only the, not only will the award be limited to the DOST agencies and uh, DOST regional offices, but 
it can even be expanded to our stakeholders, uh, to our inventors, and as well as to our invention. So, uh, salamat sa tanong, and we will uh, we will take note of the of this uh, suggestion. Salamat po. Uh, sir, can I make a comment on yes, that? Yes, sir. I'll yeah, talk because. Talk. Uh, it could we could not see gender in uh, gender responsive invention or inventor, but as far as we at the region, when we choose during invention contest, part of our criteria is that the invention should be uh, can be operated by both men and women. So part of the criteria yon, so that mm -hmm. the invention should be gender uh, the product should be gender responsive. Okay. So, isang criteria namin yon in selecting for a winner. Ayun. So, kumbaga naiiwasan po yung uh, uh, pagtatanong-tanong kung sa lalaki ba o sa babae itong kanilang na invento. Basta yan ay pwedeng gamitin kapwa ng lalaki o ng babae. Yeah. Or pwedeng ma-operate ng babae or lalaki. Even PWD, we include PWD as part of the criteria para everybody can operate the equipment that they are inventing. Ayo, okay. Uh, Dr. Dio, meron po kayong dais inagdag? Uh, yes, uh, but it is at the institution level. No? So dito mm -hmm. sa SEI, para ma-inspire yung aming employees to continuously uh, implement uh, gender mainstream activities, may competition kami ngayon dito sa SEI, yung competition of best practices. So they have to document that, produce a three-minute video, and then yung aming awarding program will be this coming December 18 during our Christmas party. So excited mm -hmm. ang lahat kasi uh, that's very interesting, no? Makikita natin concretely kung anong mga programs at best practices ang ginagawa nila para mas lalong ma-inspire ma sila to to have this uh, gender perspective in all their initiatives. Ayan, how bad. Baka meron po kayong nais uh, idagdag at uh, nais sabihin sa ating mga uh, audiences sa uh, pagkakataon ito. Ms. Lorena, kayo po mauna. Uh, actually, uh, napakaganda po yung sinasuggest na awards kasi talagang para masusugan natin na huwag natin kalimutan na yung gumagamit ng mga inventions at technology ay hindi lang po lalaki kundi babae din at nangangailangan din sila mm -hmm. ng pagtingin kung ano yung yung tugma sa kanilang paggamit kasi i am also i was also connected with Tesla noong po yung welding as a course yung niisip kasi natin pang lalaki yan pang lalaki but, lang opo o pang lalaki but eventually kasi po ay nag mainstream din tayo ng gender consciousness tinitingnan natin na dapat hindi ito maging predominantly male na course, di ba? So, okay. yung malakid o black doon kasi mabigat yung welding machine. But mm -hmm. eventually, naka-develop, naka-invent na po ng mga welding machines na portable na. So, magaan pati sa mga kababaihan at nakakatulong talaga. So, I think that is in the yeah. same, okay. you know, uh, mindset na yung ating gender responsive inventions and technology po talagang makakatulong sa mga kababaihan. Especially that 90% okay. of our micro and small enterprises are really, you know, organized, owned, and operated by women micro entrepreneurs. Oh. Ang inyo pong final message, ma'am, sa ating pong mga taga-pakinig at taga-panood, dahil sa inyong nakaton. Siguro mauna na po kay Dr. Ken Bisnerena. Opo, so I am very happy na ako po ay naging parte ng uh, GAD uh, Awards, kauna-unahang GAD Awards ng Department of Science and Technology. I was invited to be the independent validator. So mm -hmm. ako po ay nagkaroon ng first hand no, no, na pagtingin sa lahat ng mga nagawa at ginagawa ng mga regional uh, offices nila at saka yung mga attached agencies. At nakakatawa po kasi alam mo pag validation kasi tinitingnan mo na hindi lang sinasabi sa salita, Apo. kundi talagang show me ano yung mga ebidensya. So my role was really to take a look at the evidences and I am very happy na sa pulisiya, sa kapasidad ng mga tao, sa mga mekanismo na nandyan na po, at especially sa mga programa at serbisyo 
ay marami na po tayong nakikita ngayon na mga gender responsive na pamamaraan na mm. nakakatulong lalong-lalo na sa ating mga kababaihan na for so long a time ay naging invisible po sa ating development process. Ay. So congratulations po. salamat. Opo. Ay, ay. Uh, we're happy to be part of all the endeavors of BOST in this aspect. Salamat po na marami, Ms. Lorena T. Yungke ng Philippine Commission on Women National God Resource Pool. Ayan po. Si uh, Dr. Beth naman po, ano pong uh, final message po para sa ating mga audiences? Kagaya ng sinabi ni Ms. Lorena, ako talaga ay nagpapasalamat uh, sa, sa department for giving me this opportunity to lead to be the lead person in gender mainstreaming sa buong uh, sa buong DOST system no so it's really uh, very humbling and uh, but uh, it's also a source of pride for me to have achieved uh, to have gotten the to have been recognized uh, by the PCW for the things that we have undertaken that we have implemented in DOST is really a feather in our in our uh, well it's a feather in our cap so to speak so uh, uh, I also would like to take this opportunity to um, to thank the management for uh, giving me the opportunity to 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 share whatever I can share to provide uh, to implement projects and activities alongside our God BUSD God team so that we would uh, to enable us to provide a gender perspectives in all our projects and activities. Ang sinabi nga ni Engineer Jess, ito talaga nakikita sa mga technology, sa mga tao. So, uh, ang kagandahan ng gender is hindi lang naman niya na, na, na tumitigil sa amin. But you can see the impact on our stakeholders, sa mga technologies namin, at saka sa mga taong na share ng, ng uh, na, 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 na benefits sa aming mga mga ginagawa dito. So, uh, last but not the least is I would like to call on our DOST family to keep supporting. Sabi nga ni Director, uh, ni, ni uh, Engineer Jess kanina, talagang hindi madali. Mahirap talaga, lalo, sa, 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 lalo na nag-uumpisa kami. But with these uh, God Awards, we hope that we would... Uh, we would uh, be we would be able to inspire and energize our agencies no and our regional offices to to continue uh strengthening their own and gender mainstreaming uh, activities in their region so that in the end in the end the ov overall objective is we will be able to achieve gender equality and women empowerment in our organization so salamat po salamat po na marami, dr elizabeth a Fontanilla, director for Administrative and Legal Service at ang uh, God and Regional Support Service po natin. Kay Dr. Bilyo, ano pong nais nice niyo pong sabihin sa ating mga taga-subaybay? Happy din ang SEI sa award na natanggap. And um, nung una, mahirap talaga i-incorporate ang mm. gender perspective kasi hindi pa capacitated yung mga tao. Pero ngayon, uh, ini-enjoy na namin yung mga activities namin and on top of that, na-recognize pa kami. No? So, SEI commits to continue capacitating its um, employees as well as stakeholders para mas ma-enhance pa rin yung aming gender perspective, yung aming gender lens at maging gender responsive yung lahat ng mga uh, activities namin. Marami pong salamat at uh, siya po ang first place winner for the UST 2020 CAD Mainstreaming Awards. Si Engineer Jesus Zamora naman. Baka may mga nais po kayong sabihin. Yeah. Uh... Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the office of the Director Bit Puntanilla and her staff, no, for for the support, no. Sila talaga yung nag-support sa amin para bang a uh, sort of pushing us, no. <laughs> para bang uh, but we would really like to thank them sa support and of course the PCW, even the regional uh, officials of PCW has been very active in uh, in supporting us in conducting training with us and uh, uh, and the regional and our secretary also is very supportive of God. No? So uh, as the regional office, uh, we, will, we would try to strengthen our resolve to implement the God mainstreaming. And we hope no, that it is not just one office. Uh, we, would, we hope to see all the regional offices to be at the top 
uh, we do not want it or all the agencies of the UST to be at the top of uh, siguro yung mahirap na bang i-judge halos lahat are almost there para we can say that the DOST today is a, is a god uh, friendly DOST no so uh, god friendly government office so ayun yung pa i i uh, we do not want to be just one or two sana sabay-sabay kami uh, at the top of implementing god mainstreaming Thank you. All right. Maraming po salamat, Sec Boy, at maraming salamat din po sa lahat na sumabaybay sa ating programa. Abangan niyo na rin po ang Sinescensya tuwing lunes, alas 5 ng hapon, at Expert Talk Online tuwing Merkulis, alas 5 ng hapon, kasama si Jel Miranda sa USTV Facebook page at YouTube channel. Mas maraming pong balita mula sa mundo ng siyensya at teknolohiya ang ating pag-uutapan. Kaya tulad na mo kayo tuwing biyernes, alas 4 ng hapon dito sa USTV Facebook page. Ako po si Oren Miranda. Ito ang mga balita na may kinalaman sa siyensya at teknolohiya para sa bawat Pilipino straight from the S&T Authority ng Bansa. Ito ang DOS Telephone.